very welcome back to Ireland AM. Now, we all know the weather that we've been having has been a bit of a disaster for our gardens. So, Pora Corkin is joining us this morning uh, to tell us what we can do to save Absolutely. the last couple of weeks that maybe we have in the garden. And, uh, well, hopefully we'll have a nice uh, yeah, September. Yeah, because exactly. it, it can be lovely. Autumn good morning to you. Good morning to you, How Alan. Are you? So, basically, like... What are the problems that people okay. are experiencing in their gardens at the moment? Well, first of all, with flowering plants, say for typically this rose plant loves the summer sunshine, but we're not getting that. So you can see how the flowers are spoiled and stained. But quite simply, if you just cut it back, Alan, trim it back like that, it's a form of summer pruning. But what it actually does is it stimulates the rose to come back into growth and to come back into flower. So that will go then right through August, September, October? You'll, you'll often get roses to flower right up to Christmas. So it's well worth deadheading. That's the term we use. It's removing the old faded flowers because it's stopping the plant from producing seed and it encourages the plant to reshoot and reflower. Now you now, cut that about halfway down. I did. I removed about six inches of the stem to an outward facing bud. And the critical thing then is to feed the rose. So put on some rose food because you want the plant to produce new growth, to produce new flower. And the other thing to do with roses at this time of year is to make sure you put on something like Rose Clear or Rose Rescue or any of the rose products to keep pests and diseases off the plants. Right. But other plants are doing really well, Alan. Plants like hydrangeas are I loving. Just, I was just saying to that before we came on air, it looks incredible and they just keep blooming, don't and they? And they love the sort of cool summer temperatures we're getting at the moment. This plant will stay in bloom till early winter, really. And plants like Aram Lilies uh, are blooming brilliantly at the moment. So certain plants it's favouring, other plants like roses or Mediterranean plants like our hanging baskets and window boxes, they're suffering a little bit. But and lawns are suffering. Lawns in particular, we're seeing a lot of weeds, moss starting to creep back into the lawn now and this is the time of year to put on your autumn lawn treatments. All right. So something like this, Alan, shake, shake this onto your lawn now, it'll green up the lawn without forcing growth, it'll kill any moss that's there as well. Well, and we have some questions okay. on that that we'll come back to yep. that we have been sent in because people have been sending us questions in throughout the morning. But like we have, as we said, hopefully weeks still to enjoy our garden or a couple of months, hopefully, maybe into October. So what can and we some, do now? Well, there's some really good plants you can plant at this time of year, which are just coming into flower. So there's plants like the lovely perennial aster. This plant flowers at this time of year right through to late summer, kind of September, October, and it flowers every year. But also some of the autumn flowering plants. We have cyclamen here. I've used some actually in the container here. I and love this little container. It's yeah, so cute. That's going to flower right through again up until early winter and some of the plants will flower right through winter as well. Cyclamen in particular are fantastic. Put them in now. They love the cool conditions we're getting at the moment. They're great in pots and containers, window boxes or indeed you can plant them out into the border soil. This beautiful campanula, Alan, is a great plant for giving colour in rockeries and flower borders. That is great, containers. isn't it? And again, it flowers for such a long period and loves the sort of cool weather we're having at the moment. And again, it's a perennial plant, which means it comes back year after year. So it's a really good plant to put and in the garden. And they're good prices as well for Yeah, them. that plant is, is uh, 3 99 I love this. These, what are these called? These are the garden mums or chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums, right. Again, just starting to flower now. You see the amount of flower buds that are on and that's that what, That's what you have to look for, isn't it? When you go in and you, even though some of them might be dead, you sort of say deadhead them, it's all these ones that are going they're, to come up. They're going to flower and chrysanthemums typically flower again up to about the end of November and again they're a perennial plant that come back year after year. So there's lo some lots of really good plants in garden centre at the moment to put into your garden for in pots and containers or out in the border soil and the soil conditions are perfect for planting. So even though it's oh, quite moist, quite soggy, yeah, but it, it is actually good planting weather. So if you're thinking about putting in a new tree or a hedge or some fruit trees, the weather conditions, the soil conditions are perfect for planting. I want to put in a t one of my trees died, and I want to put in a really tall tree. Yeah. Is it a good time now great to do? Great time it? because all the trees are in leaf, so you can actually see the physical tree, what it's going to look like. Yeah. So it's a great time to go to garden centre and select a, a flowering or foliage tree, but a super time to plant because even though we've had a, quite a lot of rain, the soil conditions are perfect for planting. Great time for putting in new lawns, for example, for okay. sowing new lawns. So well, let's let's talk about some of the uh, viewers' questions. And patches of my garden have no grass, okay. but have weeds instead. Other areas with grass also lots of weeds. Can I use a weed killer on the whole lawn? Yes, you can. And what you're looking for is a selective weed killer, a lawn weed killer, something like this one, Dicoflower, which only kills broadleaf weeds. So it doesn't affect the grass. doesn't affect the grass at all. It'll kill the dandelions, the daisies, the clover, plantain, all the broadleaf weeds without damaging the the, the lawn whatsoever. The ideal thing is not to cut the 
lawn for about a week to 10 days, allow the weeds to grow, oh. then hit them with the treatment, the dico flower, leave it for about three or four days and they'll die off. And the other critical thing... And if you've dogs or cats, is it safe to put these down? Perfectly safe, perfectly safe. Keep the dogs and cats off it until the grass, until the spray dries onto the foliage of the weed, but perfectly safe to allow them out, say an hour later, or two hours later. So it's very, very easy to use and safe to use. But critically, uh, Alan, you do need to feed the lawn. And if you've got bare patches, say anything bigger than a saucer, six or eight inches in diameter, put on some fast acting lawn seed as well. This is the time of year that seed germinates very rapidly. So if you've got bare patches, put down the seed, they'll germinate in a couple of weeks and you'll have a really good lawn before the autumn. Okay. I have several herb plants which okay. I like to use for cooking, but they right. often die on me. Right. How do I take the leaves from the plant to use without damaging okay. it? Okay, the key to successful growing of herbs is to trim them regularly. So if you've got rosemary... Like anything, if you want to keep it, keep it going. Exactly, but particularly with herbs, because they respond to trimming by cutting them back, you're encouraging new growth on the plant. And it's a great time to harvest the leaves of herbs now. Even if you just dry them, cut them, dry them, use them through the winter period, or often to freeze them at this time of year. So if you wash them clean, put them into ice cubes they'll store for the winter or just freeze them in the freezer and you can use them right through the, the winter season and herbs the flavor in herbs is always more intense in the new growth so regular trimming back and is, is are we afraid of it do, do you find that like yeah. with no, novice gardeners we're afraid to People prune things are back afraid to cut things back yeah. I mean you can be quite hard when you're pr pruning plants back here's a uh, Veronica that's just you can see some of the flowers beginning to go off and it's a great idea to cut them right back don't be afraid to cut yeah. them back pruning back encourages new growth so the more you prune them the more fresh growth you get from plants so don't be afraid to cut them back and herbs in particular really like to be trimmed on a regular basis once a month really is once what you want to be trimming them so back. hopefully we will have a, a good few weeks left in our garden and as you say look at the color that we could have right through to october and with the roses even right up to uh, october november yeah. december the even will be fantastic there's plenty of time yet to get out into the garden and enjoy it okay pork thank you very Thanks, much Alan. for that we're going to take a quick break lots more still to come we'll see in a few minutes.